Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Today we're out of my trout pond. Actually a shared community trout pond, but it looks like I'm the only one who fishes so far. And I was out yesterday, caught a whole bunch of big rainbow trout. So let's go out this morning, do a little paddling with the Thomas Cyclone. See what we can catch. Now when you're paddling for rainbow trout with the Thomas Cyclone, can just watch the tip of your rod and it'll bounce really lightly that's how you know the action is going good and uh, just keep it at that pace you can speed it up a little bit slow it down a little bit sometimes just let it fall in the water column and it flutters the rainbow trout like that but if you keep that rod bouncing you know there aren't any weeds on the hook and it's got the right action oh, I got one you see that hooked up on one already Look at that jump out there. <laughs> oh, it came off. He did a jump and come off. Well, let's keep trolling. We got one. Whoa, he jumped right out of the water. Whoa, look at that jump. <laughs> I jumped like three feet out of the water. Let's see if he jumps again. There he comes. Wow, that's a beautiful rainbow trout. Look at this beautiful rainbow trout. He's not ready to come in yet. Full little drag, still. Wow, he's a nice one. Nice male. Really colorful male. And he's pulling like crazy. Man, they're so powerful. Wow, look at this beautiful rainbow trout on that Thomas Cyclone. Let's let him go. Okay, what a beautiful fish for the morning. Swim. Whoa, got me soaked. Oh yeah, let's go catch another one. Oh, got another one. Whoa, this is a bigger one. This is a big one. Well, this guy's really jerking hard. I wonder if he's a different kind of fish. Uh, there's supposed to be brook trout in here as well. So we'll see, this guy, Lots of head shakes, He's staying down, not jumping. Oh, it's a big female. Big female. Whoa! That's a monster female. Whoa, look at this one. Whoa, look at that beautiful rainbow trout. Whoa, that's a fatty there. Monster. <laughs> Okay, let's get her back in the water. There she goes. Just flipped her with the pliers. Oh, is that a fish or I'm snagging the bottom? Oh, 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 we got one. We got one. We hooked up. He's on the surface. Oh, he's pulling hard. Let's get the camera straight so you can see what's going on back there. This is great. I love this. Fish just jumped up there. <laughs> Look at this beautiful rainbow. There he goes. Trying to lift him up, but it lost him. Nice jump out there. Well, 
look. Oh, look how thick that rainbow was. <laughs> They're so strong. I didn't want them to flop in the boat, so I flipped them out. <laughs> See that little jerking stop, so I know I got a weed or something on there. Oh, look at that. I was just reeling it in fast. This fish grabbed it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I just started to crank it in and bam, this fish hit it. <laughs> Whoa, it's feeling. This might be a decent fish. They're all pretty decent. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> he jumped right beside the camera like three feet out of water. What a beautiful rainbow trout. Whoa, that's beauty. Such pretty colors on that fish. These ones are even interesting. They have like a pink slash under their throat, like a cutthroat trout. But they're definitely not cut. They're definitely rainbow trout. Look at that beautiful fish. We'll just flip this hook because it's barbless. So just drop out. Look at that. Just drops out. Beautiful fish. Awesome. <laughs> Goodbye, fishy. Catch you another day. Literally, we'll catch them another day. <laughs> and here I thought I had a weed, so I was just cranking it in and really fast, and he slammed it. Sometimes they like high speed trolling, so you can speed it up a bit. They'll come right up to the surface and hit it. Because it mimics a uh, minnow or something trying to swim away from them, so they'll come up and just chase it. Rainbow trout, they can swim really fast, so don't worry about going too fast. Look at that. I just had a hit. Is he on there? Yeah, he's on there. Look at that. Caught another one. I was trolling pretty fast there. You probably saw that. Put in the boat so we got a better camera angle here. So you can see the fish jump if he jumps because they've been doing some acrobats. Another gorgeous rainbow trout. This is a male, this one. They're so thick. Oh, I love it. You gotta love catching rainbow trout after rainbow trout like that. Oh, what a beauty. <clears throat> that was some high speed trolling. You know, after I caught that one, <clears throat> when I was just reeling it in fast, I thought I'd try this trolling a little faster, and guess what? It worked. That's what's great about paddling around in a canoe. It's a beautiful thing to do. And yeah, get a little bit of exercise, not much paddling this slow. And uh, you're pretty silent on the water, you know? There's no more motor or anything there causing a lot of turbulence. The paddle stroke is very quiet. You're just basically propelling yourself through the water by push, putting the paddle stationary in the water. So and your strokes are not very often. So it's a great way to troll for trout. Undetected, you're just slithering right over top of them so they don't get scared away. Then they're right behind you to get hit by that spoon. So they're out here at East Pit Lake in Alberta, just north of Wobbeman Lake. I just got out here, cast a few times, had a bite, a few casts, and then hooked up with this beautiful rainbow trout on a Thomas Boyant spoon.